I'm Dr. V. Himavishwara, Assistant Professor of Physics, Department of Freshman Engineering, Aeronautical Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad, Dundigar, Hyderabad. Welcome to the uh, lecture, Atomic Structure. The content of present uh, lecture are source of, sources of radiation, spectral lines, absorption and emission spectrum of hydrogen, spectrometer model diagram, spectrometer and spectrum, Balmer empirical relation, Richberg relation, failure of classical mechanics and then references. Sources of radiation. In a uh, earlier lecture, we discussed about evolution of uh, different stages of evolution of atoms. So, uh, in order to understand the structure of atom, we must uh, um, know about the different uh, sources of radiation. In temperature radiation, the atoms and molecules of gases are excited by collision with other atoms and molecules at high temperature. So, in case of uh, temperature radiation, atoms are excited to uh, excited and gives temperature and again light also. The excited atoms and molecules emit light. This occurs in flames and electric furnaces. In electroluminescence, atoms and molecules are excited by collision with electrons or ions accelerated in electric field. The, this occurs in all kinds of electric discharge, dischargers such as ox, sparks and gizzler tubes. In chemical luminescence, energy is set free in a chemical reaction and is converted into light. This phenomena takes partly in flames. In case of photoluminescence, ex uh, excitation of atoms causes for uh, emission of light. Excitation of atoms uh, in different energy levels causes for emission of light. So, it had been known for a long time that light is emitted by gases when they are heated to high, high temperatures. The light emitted from a hot gas may be examined by a prism or grating. In practice, the sources of the source of light is placed behind a narrow linear slit, and the narrow beam of light emerging from the slit is passed through a grating or prism. The light breaks up into several beams according to wavelength when they are passed through a prism or grating. So these beam, beams produce a set of narrow lines, very narrow lines with the dark gaps between them and a photographic plate kept uh, in front of them. These lines recorded on the photographic plate are called spectral lines and the whole set of lines is known as a spectrum. So, for the first time in 18, uh, in 1814, observed dark lines in the solar spectrum. Soon after, Kipchoff and Bunsen found such dark lines and similar bright lines in the spectra of stars and the laboratory flames and sparks. This brought into picture two types of spectroscopy. One is absorption spectroscopy and the other one is emission spectroscopy. So, absorption spectroscopy, uh, emission spectroscopy of hydrogen when, uh, is observed when hydrogen is heated at higher temperatures. And there are different lines in continuous spectrum. This is a continuous spectrum, but there are, uh, in case of hydrogen spectrum, absorption spectrum, uh, in case of uh, when the light is heated, when the gas is hydrogen gas is heated, we observe emission spectrum when uh, the light is passed through cool gas, cool hydrogen gas, uh, we can observe the absorption spectrum. We can uh, see uh, how to get absorption spectrum in the later slides. Now, first we need to see uh, emission spectrum. So, in the case of emission spectrum of hydrogen, there are huge bands, dark bands in this region and and the lines are emitted at different regions. 
these lines uh, means uh, these are the light uh, electromagnetic radiation emitted at that particular regions so the lines are observed at 65 mm, 6, uh, 65 angstrom 4861 angstrom, 4341 angstrom and uh, again there are several uh, lines after 4102 angstrom and the last line is around 3646 angstrom. The emission of radiation converges lastly at 3646 angstrom. So all these are lines emitted by hydrogen gas when hydrogen gas is heated at higher temperatures and again the same lines are observed when absorption spectrum is uh, taken so uh, the lines are observed at the same positions same position that means there is there is some mechanism going inside atom hydrogen atom particularly So, in order to uh, in order to discuss structure of atom, uh, different gases, so mono, mono gases are mono type gas, mono single kind of gases are uh, tested with a different uh, electromagnetic radiation. So, for absorption spectrum, this is a black diagram for taking spectrum spectrum. So this is also called spectrometer. So when light is passed through a slit, a entrance slit by using a light source, and this uh, uh, this light is dispersed by using either prism or grating, and we can select a particular wavelength of this electromagnetic radiation by using a exit slit, and this light is passed through a sample. Sample means here. Uh, either it is a gas or solid liquid any medium so in general for the observation of hydrogen spectrum we must take uh, hydrogen gas inside this uh, container so whenever light is passed particular uh, wavelength light of particular wavelength is passed through this uh, medium we can observe either emission or absorption of uh, absorption spectrum here in the, in the detector. So this is the black diagram of spectrometer. So whatever the light, uh, uh, whatever the spectrum we obtained here is, uh, is maybe having different lines, distinct lines. So on investigations of the spectra emitted from different kinds of atoms shows that each kind of atoms has its own characteristic spectrum. So for a very uh, atomic uh, gas, single atom gas, uh, we can get a uh, uh, particular uh, characteristic spectrum. It is like a fingerprint for that particular uh, uh, spectrum uh, atom. So that is the characteristic set of wavelengths. We can see uh, the lines at a different particular wavelengths. This makes spectroscopy a useful tool for chemical analysis of unknown substances. A characteristic feature of line spectra is that spectral lines can be grouped in one or more series in which the separation and intensity of lines decrease regularly towards shorter wavelengths. So the main observations of spectrogram after applying on many gases are monoatomic gases give distinct bright emission lines monoatomic gases that means there is uh, there is a presence of only one kind of atoms and polyatomic gases give bands composed of closely spaced lines if there are uh, several kinds of atoms present in the same uh, gas gas medium that is that means polyatomic gases and very dense gases or solids give continuous spectrum the spectrum uh, having bands of electromagnetic radiation either it is uh, uh, absorption spectrum or emission spectrum a continuous spectrum seen through a cool gas shows absorption lines or bands 
and cool gas absorbs from continuous light source. For absorption spectrum, we need a continuous source of light and we can select a particular wavelength uh, by using that uh, continuous spectrum and uh, we incident uh, that particular uh, light of particular wavelength. And again, the positions of spectral lines are characteristics of that particular atoms or molecules which produce them. So particular atoms produce a special spectral line. It is different for each and every atom or molecule. The intensity of spectral lines grows as the concentration of atoms increases. The concentration of that particular atoms increases in that particular medium. The spectral line intensity increases. It, it uh, glows very brightly. The intensity of spectral lines vary with the temperature of the source also. The temperature of the source increases, the intensity also increases as uh, at particular wavelengths. That means it can excite uh, more atoms from lower energy levels to higher energy levels. These observations can be done in, uh, in the later slides. So, these are the absorption and emission spectrum of hydrogen. So on observing this spectrum, scientist Living and Thiwar in 1875 noticed that spectral lines of various elements could be grouped into distinct series. In each series, the spacing and intensity decreases regularly towards shorter wavelengths. There is a line at 6.5, 6 angstrom, and as we go towards lower wavelengths, lower wavelengths, the gap, gap between these lines decreases towards lower wavelengths, and intensity also decreases. These observations are done by Living and Divar in 1875. There is a regular uh, regularity. Along with this, even uh, this observation is not on, uh, in the both cases, emission spectrum and absorption spectrum. Along with this, one more observation by Balmer, scientist Balmer in 1885, that is regularity in the position of the lines of the hydrogen spectrum. So on observing these lines, these numbers particularly, he founded that these uh, these numbers are following some regularity. So following that, he gave some empirical formula like this, where n is equal to 3, 4, 5. If you substitute n equal to 3, you will get this number. n equal to 3. You will get uh, if you substitute n equal to 3, 4, 5, you will get all these numbers. So there are several lines ending up to 3, 6, 4, 6 angstrom. The length decreases, gap, gap between these lines decreases as we go towards lower wavelengths, and again after 4102, there are again several lines several lines spaced with very small gap and the line last line is at 3646 six angstrom all these lines all these values can be obtained by substituting uh, n value 3 4 5 etc in this formula it is given by scientist palmer so they follow some regularity all these lines are following some regularity. Why that regularity is followed by hydrogen spectrum? Either it is emission or absorption spectrum. It is also one important point to evolve the uh, spectrum of atoms. In general, hydrogen spectrum is very simplest spectrum, so that several uh, research uh, done on the hydrogen spectrum. 
Okay. So, and again, there are several series, not only uh, this series again, this particular series, these numbers, invisible region, all these uh, lines are observed in visible region of the spectrum. But later, there are, uh, um, these are only not the lines observed for the hydrogen spectrum. There are several other lines in other regions of electromagnetic radiation that are found by scientists like Lyman, Ashen, Brackett and Fant. And they are also following particular frequency, uh, particular regularity. So that regularity can be related uh, by this formula and this is given by scientist Redberg. So Balmer formula, Balmer's formula is a special case of Redberg formula relation. Okay, so and again uh, he gave a relation for wave number, wave number means inverse of 1 by lambda. wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation. It is relating the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation. So, wave number of the these particular lines are related with Rh in, into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square, where n1 and n2 are positive integers and n2 must be greater than n1. And this Rh is a constant called Rydberg constant and it is given by this value. This value is particular for hydrogen. Maybe it can ch uh, it changes for different atoms. It is not same for all atoms. This value is only for hydrogen atom. So as we change the values of N1 and N2, we can get Lyman, Passion, Bracket and Fund series. These are in different regions of electromagnetic radiation, either it is UV, IR or radio waves or other regions of electromagnetic radiation. So for particularly Balmer series is obtained when N1 is equal to 2. N1 is equal to 2, this relation is obtained for particularly for Balmer series. That means when n equal n1 equal to 2 and n2 equal to 3 comma 4 comma 5, we are getting the and etc. We are getting those particular uh, lines in the visible regions in the hydrogen spectrum like this. So we can see different lines in all the all these series so when n1 equal to 1 and n2 equal to n1 equal to 1 and n2 equal to 2 3 4 5 that means the transition that means n2 value is 2 and n1 is equal to 1 and n2 equal to 3 and n1 equal to 1 n2 equal to 4 and n1 equal to 1 we are getting these lines in the UV region, but we are not able to see these lines in the spectrum because we can see only visible light. That's why Balmer found at the starting time, Balmer found these uh, lines in the uh, hydrogen spectrum. Later, uh, line, uh, all these scientists found these lines also in the hydrogen spectrum. So, Balmer is, in the, in the case of Balmer, n1 equal to 2 and n2 equal to, n2 equal to 3, 4, 5 and etc. And it can be up to infinity. For infinity, we are getting 3, 6, 4, 6 angstrom. That is the uh, limit of that series, Balmer series. And for passion, Passion in n1 equal to 3 and n2 equal to 
n2 equal to 4 comma 5 comma 6 and etc for bracket for the series bracket n1 equal to 4 and n2 equal to 5 6 7 and etc and for fund fund is in the higher region and n1 equal to 5 and n2 equal to 6 7 8 and etc so all these discoveries are related with the ridge per relation so when we see all these lines these appear like this bomber series in the visible region the lines are like this the larger wavelength 656 nanometer 656 nanometer in in terms of nanometer and again there is uh, this line again around 480 nanometer 410 nanometer we can see all the lines in the angstrom in the previous slides 656 nanometer 686 434 and 410 364 so here this is 656 nanometer 486 434 nanometer and 410 nanometer and there are several lines even between 410 to 365 nanometer even in the visible region so they are following some certain regular man manner and again not in the not only in the visible region even in the e UV region, there are several lines like this 120 nanometer to 91 nanometer. This is we may call it as series limit. The last uh, lowest wavelength is called series limit when n2 equal to n2 equal to infinity. And again, here in the passion series, this is the passion series, this is the largest wavelength, and this is the lowest wavelength 820 nanometer in the higher region this is called passion series so here n n1 equal to 4 n2 equal to 5 6 7 8 etc up to infinity la the last line is at 820 nanometer so even we are observing a particular series of lines there, there are no uh, discussions, no proper discussion, theoretical proofs for uh, all these lines. Why we are getting these particular lines at that particular positions. Even classical mechanics fail to explain all these attempts. So, even Rutherford planetary model of atom also was not successful in explaining the atomic spectra. So all these things we will discuss in the next lecture by following different uh, discussions. These are the references. Thank you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.